Okay, we're talking about penalties. We're talking about $10 billion max, let's say, if, if it were to be increased. I, th I think I, I heard that with regard to BP, if they're mm -hmm. civil, uh, mere negligence. Mm -hmm. So I went on Hoover's, and I w thought I would see, okay, just, just how much is, uh, is BP making? Let's go ahead, let's, let's click and get the first one. These are their, their financials. This is their 2009 sales. This is not $246 million. This is $246 billion in sales. $246 billion in sales. Okay, let's go to the next slide. This is three years worth. Let's, let's go to the next click now. Because here what we see is for, for this 246, there was over 300 billion in sales in, this, in 08, uh, rather uh, 07, and then there was a huge amount, about the same amount in, in 08. Now, here's one other thing, all you business people out here, you know percentages, and just because you have great sales doesn't mean that you have great revenues. Well, look at these percentages right here, 6%, 5%, 7%. Uh, on on your revenues that's huge absolutely huge any large business would be thrilled with numbers like that BP's got a lot of money and a lot of employees but they also should have a lot of responsibility shouldn't they well Senator Gordon who probed the culture of the com of the company um, said that it uh, said that this can be traced to the culture of British Petroleum Remember, they had the Texas City, uh, the Texas City accident, the bl refinery blast. Mm -hmm. uh, you also had the very large spill into the tundra at, Tr at Prudhoe Bay, and and now this, you know, kind of a you know a hat trick of two disasters and a catastrophe. Um, and uh, so consequently, while they're making all of this money, we we'll also have had a cutting of corners, and ultimately the losers include not only the uh, not only the fisheries and recreation of the Gulf. Or however, whether this goes around Florida and comes up the East Coast, we don't yet know. Mm -hmm. But also the investors in the company. You know, this is you know the source of uh, pension income and so on, particularly in 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 Great Britain. So as a result of a culture which had cutting of corners and uh, bossing of regulators and saying, well, we don't really need to do that. Uh, you have brought a catastrophe down, not only on the uh, on the wildlife, and on the fisheries, but also on the investors in the company. Well, and even to take the economic uh, loss a little bit further, the beaches that have to be closed don't have people coming to them. The tourists aren't there. They can't come. No, they, uh, they don't. And this is, uh, this is again, uh, one of the great recreation areas of the country. This, you know, I guess a little bit east of, uh, east of Louisiana, the so-called Redneck Riviera mm -hmm. of, uh, of Alabama and the uh, mm -hmm. Florida Panhandle yep. and so forth. Um, and, and, of course, people head for Florida, even in the humid summer months, mm -hmm. how they stand that humidity, <laughs> I don't know, but... Uh, but the beaches are white. The, the sandy beaches down there on that part of the Gulf are white. They're absolutely beautiful. And, uh, yes, they do have hurricanes there, and they, and they change over a lot. And there's, but that's a, there's the of aspect of tragedy. When we had a relatively minor spill off the uh, Cape Flattery uh, not too long ago, I believe a Chinese freighter uh, carved through a Japanese fishing boat or perhaps vice versa. The, the emotional scene when the tar balls began to wash ashore on Shai Shai Beach, arguably the most beautiful beach on the, uh, on the west coast of the United States, or when the new Cur Clarissa uh, dumped uh, bunker oil off Grays Harbor and the current, this was in the middle of winter, carried this up to the point where you had a kind of a frothy surf coming ashore at uh, the famous Wikimanish Beach in um, Canada's Pacific Rim National Park. I remember the fury of Canada's, uh, and a member of Parliament from Vancouver, John Fraser, was the Speaker of the House of Commons, mm -hmm. who had arrived out there, and there was nothing going on to clean this up. And there was not really too much that could be done about this froth coming ashore from something that happened more than 300 miles away. And a similar feeling that I had when I went down all the way to Katmai National Park, about 400 miles from where the Axon Valdez accident occurred mm -hmm. and began digging up oil on a supposedly cleaned beach. Well, looking across a small lagoon at a large Alaska brown bear, the superintendent of the park explaining to me that when the bear stumbled out of hibernation in a few months, that it would start digging for shellfish right into the oil. Oh. Why are people in the United States, including members of Congress, defending BP? A British company. 
Not necessarily. Defending, they are, of course, a major economic presence. The oil industry is a major economic presence. It has had a block of senators that have represented it all the way back to the founder of the Kerr-McGee Company, uh, Oklahoma Senator Robert Kerr, who defended the interests of the oil companies um, half a century ago in Congress. Uh, this has always been the case. And also, Stan, they, uh, they rely on our short attention spans that after a certain amount of time you can talk about, well, we don't want to talk about the past. We want to talk about the future. So you had, when did the Exxon Valdez, uh, 1989, by 2001, 12 years later, you had another Bush administration pushing to drill in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. And of course, you, um, you have Shell, con you know, which has license, paid for licenses to drill in the Chuchi and the Beaufort Seas in Alaska, saying that there's absolutely no relation between what's happening in the Gulf to what they propose to do. And we believe that. Well, if you, all you need to do is take a map, and this, you know, which is right about an inch, and go, go, go around, and you will see that the nearest Coast Guard station to where the drilling was takes place, about a thousand miles. They, um, they don't have, you know, it is shallow water, but they don't, you know, that they do not have the cleanup capacity of the Gulf, and the cleanup capacity in the Gulf has, of course, proved to be drastically inaccurate, inadequate. As you put in a, in a recent column, former White House advisor, BP oil spill is a criminal act. This was May 27th. Uh, and Van Jones, a former advisor to the Obama administration, said, I think it's a criminal act against the people of the United States and perhaps Mexico as well. They are guilty of criminal negligence. This is an organization that came into our country, slagged up the coastline, and lied about it. Um, if he's right, that gets rid of, of that, that limitation, and that company goes down, doesn't it? It could very well, depending upon the strength of the legal response by the Justice Department. Um, you, also, you also have a situation where we need to redefine what is terrorism in this country. The Gulf of Mexico, the shoreline, has been attacked. It is yeah. being attacked by oil. People are suffering enormous economic consequences. Eleven people killed in the, uh, were killed in the explosion of the drilling rig. Additional 15 or so, as I recall, in the Texas City explosion. Uh, you have in the Galveston area very high rates of children's uh, uh, lung diseases, um, asthma and the like. Um, the consequences of what the you know what this industry does you know can be quite lethal to uh, wildlife and children and other living things, mm. and it shows our dependence on the carbon economy and the need to, for heaven's sakes, curtail this. Well, we will watch and participate. If we participate, maybe there'll be some changes. Let's go to a different topic of mice, mares, and councilmen. But what, but first, we're going to go to a break. Uh, we're very fortunate to have Joel Conley with us with SeattlePI.com. He is part of the Sound Month and Review team, normally with Mike Seeley, who is on assignment this, this month. He'll be back next month. Go to the website, SeattlePI.com, SeattleWeekly.com. Also, <coughs> excuse me, there is a new website. Let's go to, to that yeah, we're going to go to the next click. Anyway, go to YouTube.com and type in Public Exposure Scan, and you're going to see a bunch of videos from the public exposure. There it is, YouTube, and search Public Exposure Scan, all one word. You're going to find some shows that you're going to want to see again and again and again. Okay.